G'day mates. It seems a lot darker. I don't know. I just, I don't know. do it and I don't have that much water left to drink I got that last weekend even though it does say 4 p.m. and it is much past 4 p.m. just just a little bit I like this one although somehow I've like really hurt my hand like in here and then I've been crocheting for a few hours, so that didn't help. And then like doing dinner things didn't help. I wonder if I heard a crocheting. That was close. I almost fell to my death. Wait, they have a bigger tank than I do. Um, excuse you. around it that's not cool Mila I've hurt my hand somehow Oh, 
I was gonna like do some things to my hair tonight, but I don't think I'll be able to do that. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, I hate this game. hurts. I hate this game. You can see my rampage. Nila. I can't remember. It's been hurting for a few hours. Um, I might have heard it crocheting. And then, like, because I remember it hurting when I was getting dinner ready. Um, so, I don't, I don't know. And then I probably should have stopped crocheting, but I didn't. So. I can't remember where I put my ring bracelet cuff thingy. That makes me really sad. But while this game loads, well, while they find a match for me, I need to find something. got like fingerless gloves that go up to here and I want to wear them eventually because I'm doing something eventually um, I don't know where they are <sighs> I've not my, I've not my crocheting off no I'm all tangled in my yarn no this is not a good time let's teach you how to crochet my mom said now look at me, untangled in yarn and playing Splatoon 2. She must be so proud. Nah, I reckon my mom's very proud of me. I know my grandpa is. Which is just... Weird. It's not weird, the circumstances around him telling me this is weird. Although, he was proud of me. He said that a few years ago. So, I don't know if he still is. Yes, Mila. It hurts for shame. What I tend to forget about um, is I had like a solid couple years of my life where doing pretty much anything would make my right wrist hurt. Um, nothing was wrong with it. Like, there, nothing came up in the x-rays. So, so obviously I was fine. It was, it's like my knees. Um, but now it hurts again. Only if I could share for long periods of time. But I can't stop. Like, I could, but I, I can't stop. They don't call it special interest for nothing. I made the fire alarm in my house go off yesterday.
by what? Why is my grandpa proud of me? Why I can't stop crocheting? Oh yeah, all the smoke. No, it's not the smoke you made, it's the weed. Because I'm too smoking hot. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I'm untended for the eye. watching Raw and they had the 20 year anniversary of Rey Mysterio and he says Booyaka so that's just it's in my brain you know it hey Nila everyone knows it and that's why I'm single and lonely I'm just making a mess. Well, I really want to find my field gloves. <sighs> I'm bored. I was so bored this morning at work. Like, I was just so bored. You know how I said I reckon my hand hurts because I've been crocheting a lot? I was working. I was bored earlier at work. I said that. It's our after stream. Um. I'm going to tear my house apart looking for my fingerless gloves.
I can't stream when I'm at work. Like, it's not even funny. It's like 9.15. And all the children are doing stuff. interested me so it's kind of just walking around probably looking like a headless chicken Someone told oh my crap. Alright, let's try. Before I play another game. Um someone told me the other day that it sounds like I've got a lot on my mind. <laughs> Splatoon 2 is like, no, I am the only game you will play. Um and now I've got birthday from all time life stuck in my head. Why is it still purple and yellow? It was purple and yellow like on Sunday. I don't like, what happened to like pink and green, purple and orange? One dude already died, and I'm still just speaking up spawn. I spent not so long on this. And I wrecked two of them. Yeah. What a good finale.
Crushed it. <coughs> Heck yeah! Up top. Most points. Heck yeah, I want to play again. Nintendo. That was just rude. Like, come down here and fight me like a man. <sighs> I scared him. I was too intimidating. the person no no oh salty cuz i like either um so that's all right you know i still got the top which is pretty nice
game. I've got like three more stitches to do. Why is like no one splatting? Oh, of course. The sniper on my team doesn't do anything. switch off right now. I didn't want to attack the This is my look of not being from my teammates. Ooh, so close. You guys suck. Let's play again. Darn it. I just take out my curve bin. Take out my wheelie bin. One, two. After this game, I need to remember to take out my wheelie bin and my like rubbish bin, my bin inside my house because it's already stinky. You 
if that's my sister texting back. I love how I'm just like, so, like, my Udi is just, just pushing it. Oh my gosh, go home. <laughs> They're probably our home. I need to take out my wheelie bin. I'm so triggered. The only one, because there's so many parts of the map that the purple team didn't ink. And I carried everyone. No, I need to take out my rubbish. Um, I'm gonna be taking out my rubbish now. I'll come back. Um, just finding some music for you guys. Um, this this song lasts for five minutes, so I'll be back to go out looking like this in front of my neighbor.
What a life, man. What a life. So I go outside and my neighbor is talking on her phone. I go outside. I'm looking like this. And I'll just let the song finish. So, my sister has made, like, a circlet for me. It broke. And then she made another one. It broke. The other one was with black wire too. It didn't really break, it just like got all bent out of shape. Um, cause look at its owner. And, um, Finally, I don't have to carry my teeth. And then she's like, fine, I'm gonna make you another one. This one's gonna be all fancy and stuff. And that was like early this year she said that. Like this was before, like she started it before the center closed down. Like my work, my original center closed down. Speaking of which, the boss from that center came by today. Center manager. My old center manager came by. I'm glad that I work for the same company because it'd be so awkward having like the same man manager from another company coming over to like help out with life and stuff. Also, I reckon my center manager, at least my previous one, is very social. Um, she doesn't like being by herself, which is weird. Like, she doesn't like being in the office by herself. Was at my old center, she would have her office, and then we had the receptionist where our family consultant had her office. Um, and our family consultant worked Tuesday to Thursday. And so Tuesday to Thursday, my center manager would just be out with the um, family consultant. I'm the only smart one. Although I reckon they probably didn't know that. <laughs> We've also got another child person over here. Obviously, because I'm buying the third one. I then asked my sister if she could finish it soon. I'm like, please finish it, she said, finish the circlet soon. And she's like, I'll try.
Like today they're all just hanging out, but the children are starting to get hungry. And I'm like, how about you? this person, this person, this person go inside with this room? Because the this group is going inside so you can take this room inside. At least until the day she comes out and they're like, okay. And I'm like, you guys seriously did not excuse me. You guys seriously did not think about that on your own. A lot of my co-workers just need direction. They need a kind a little push. Child care educator strike gonna happen soon. I don't know when. But I although I do agree with the strike and the purpose of the strike. I don't um because we're not paid very well at all. And we put in so much like you you guys probably realize this by watching my streams. But we put in so much time and effort and energy and like love and attention and stuff into it for like very little pay. Um, and we don't really get much support from the government. So there's gonna be a strike, apparently, um, for better wages and stuff. And like, I do agree with it. Um, maybe not so much with the, with the money, because like, yeah, we need money, but I don't do it for the money. If I did this for the money, then man, I'm in the wrong job. Um, but there's like a time in a day, I don't know when, because I can't remember, that people are planning. I haven't heard anyone from my work planning it, but where pe people are planning on just walking out. Exactly, so we've got ratios. Um, we are legally obliged at all time to maintain these ratios. And the ratios are for nursery, so the six weeks to 15 months. Yeah, six weeks to 15 months, so that's nursery and toddlers. For every four children you have, you have to have one educator. From the age of 15 months to three, Oh, no, 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 it's six weeks to two. So six weeks to two, you need the one to four ratio. Two to three, you need the one to five ratio. So every five children you have, you need one educator. And then one, and then the three to five-year-olds, it's one to 11. And if you don't have enough staff to cover the ratios, centers can get sued, you can lose your job, people can get fined. It's a whole big hoopla. So people are just gonna up and leave centers with 
all these children. And it's not like a high school where they can make their own way home. These are babies we're talking about. Like we've got a child who's eight months old. We've got another one who's like four months old. And then we've got five-year-olds. Like, um, a apparently there was a strike last year with the public education system. And apparently schools sent out an email to ask asking parents to pick their kids up early before the planned strike. So yes, it is. I think the strike is supposed to happen in September. Um, so I don't know if I'll hear more about it from like my work. Um, and like what my boss is going to be doing or if she'll be sending out emails or if anyone's taking part of it. I'm just gonna be upfront with everyone and say no, I'm not gonna strike. There's better ways to get your point across. So in a way, if parents have to come and collect their children early, and yes, that affects other working families. Um, it affects the standard manager, who, because she can get fined. Like, personally, she can get personally fined if ratios aren't being, like, maintained and if she's in charge at the time. So, obviously, standard managers, depending on the hours of time that centers are open, um... Center managers aren't going to be there all day, every day. So this, so my current center is open from 6.30 to 6. So 6.30 a.m. we open our doors. Actually, our doors technically always stay open one day. Because it's just a gate. And then they, we leave at 6 p.m. Hopefully. And center manager isn't going to work that long. So, my center manager works her shift 9 to 5.30, but periods of time before 9, we'll have an RPIC. And that RPIC, responsible person in charge, can get fined if ratios aren't being kept. Or, any time after 5.30, the RP whoever the RPIC is after 5.30 when my boss goes home, can get fined personally as well. Um, I think it's going to happen around midday, so my boss should be there. But we also have RPICs if the boss isn't there for the day. Due to like sick family holidays. Um, I'm pretty nervous about the strike. Because if you're doing early child care for the money, not only are you in the wrong industry, because early childcare doesn't make much money, um, you shouldn't be doing it for that. You should be working with the children because you want to see, you want to help them, you want to be with them, you want to teach them, you want to like guide them in their early years. And this strike isn't necessarily telling you that. Like all those people that walk out is kind of telling me that they care more about money than about the children. Which is why I'm going to stay. Regardless of what my work does. If my, it, like I doubt this will happen, but if my center closes down, I'm going to be staying until we close. Because that's not fair on the children or their families. I should probably find out more information about the strike. Because my mom read an article about it a while ago. Like, I say a while ago, but it was a couple weeks ago. And my mom and dad are like on the same page as me. Um, with, 
yeah, we agree with this strike and like why it's happening, but we don't agree with leaving the children. I pulled up the article from Nine News, which is um like a legit source news. Um, Neela, I may be 21, but I've got the mental capacity of a five-year-old. Even though five-year-olds don't know the term mental capacity. I don't know what that means. Like, I don't, I don't get what unions are. <laughs> so probably not. I don't know. We get set pays based off of years of qualifications. I did this round actually. I might pull up the article on my PC and read it. Get it. That wasn't fair. I was running low on you. Just being the one minute warning, like that flash. I still carried the team by a large margin. Okay. <laughs> Time to do some research. Time to do some research. Try to do some time to do some research. All the research. Overpaying working conditions. What's our working conditions? I said to walk off the job as they demand better pay and working conditions. What? What's our um, working conditions? Ah, uh, September 7th. What about us who are training in our cert threes who work harder than the qualified staff. I mean, I think I'm the only one.
at Uwu. <laughs> oh, I hate the internet. Uwu members. Yep. 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 <laughs> I've been commenting on the page and I'm like scrolling through and you guys can't even see it. Oh, I hate my life. Um, United Workers Union, that's why I'm joking about Ulu. Um, and that's why qualified staff should be paid wages equal. Um, one about those of us who work harder than the qualified staff. But I'm like one of the few ones. Um, sick of being stuck. Director at Ulu said, Ulu members. Um, yeah, I'm, that's why I'm, I was sick for so long, because I burnt out work and workload. Um, I, I'm not sure if my center will be closed. Um, oh, that hand foot and mouth. But it'll be interesting to see. They're probably gonna get it wrong. Um, this story though. What, where, where is it? Oh, uh, it's gone poof. This one. It was like, whoa. Never mind, it's not gonna play. Vaping, puff or pass? Yep. Um, I'd rather pass. You know, just, just, I, just rather pass. We've got so many COVID cases in the center that people who can't be bothered wearing a mask started wearing a mask, but one of them just took it off halfway through the day. There's legit, so there's three of us that wear masks, four of us that wear masks often. Two of us are the only ones wearing it like correctly. And when I say wearing it correct correctly, we're not like touching it. We're not moving it to talk. We're not moving it to hear. I'll get on that um, train in a second. Um, and we don't le like we don't take them off to talk to people who are close to us. Uh, we only take them off to eat. And when we do eat, we're far away from each other, like far away from anyone. As far as away as one can be from children. But. Um, or, or drink. The other two people that wear them often, but like not properly, take them off. So this was before today. Um, we take them off to talk, to eat, to hear better. Um, 
but we had two more COVID cases. Um, well, technically four more, but two of them was children that attended our care yesterday. So now everyone's wearing a mask, which is so annoying because I've been wearing them for two weeks. And like people were getting annoyed with me for wearing a mask because apparently they can't understand me. Hey, King. But now everyone's wearing a mask. Although it's too late for them. Like an educator who wasn't wearing a mask, like one of my coworkers has COVID. Um, I can be better. Um. Let's not dwell on me. Let's dwell on how stupid people are. So one of my coworkers was sitting with some children today. And they were near another educator. And the other educator is trying to talk to the person. So educator A is sitting on the floor. Educator B is talking to educator A. And educator B is like talking away and educator A is like, Huh? Like pulls the mask down. And I'm like I and I'm standing away and I'm like, I didn't realize your mask covers your ears. Or that your ears are connected to your mouth. Slash nose. And then someone only wears it around parents. But it goes both ways. Love people. We're one of the stupid races on planet Earth. <sighs> Ninety-eight percent of the educators that I work with needs a smack. I say 98% because there's me, obviously. Um, pre kindy lead educator. Although sometimes I want to start pre kindy educator. Um, is that it? Everyone else I just want to slap. Even the two other people in my room that had COVID last week. I, just, I, I want to slap them sometimes. Because I'm like, hey, we're going to do progressive meal times. So progressive meal times means we tell the children, we're like, hey, if you guys are hungry, you're welcome to come on up and eat. And I explain that every time. I'm like, all right, we're going to do progressive meals. So I'll, I'll let the children know. I'm like, hey, if you're hungry, you can come up and eat. And if they're not, that's all right. And every meal time, Every, every educator I work with that I tell them they can come up if they want to just brings all the children over. E even the people in my room. And I, I'm very, like, like, I don't always say what I mean because of the autism. But I'm like, I'm very clear and precise. Like people understand. Like one of my coworkers understands, and I I tell everyone the exact same same thing, the exact same way. Although the other one that understands is the other like part of the two percent I don't want to slap. I wanted, we have a staff meeting 
Next Tuesday, I think. And I want to email her tonight so I don't forget. Um, but... Yeah. Now, we have a new child who started last week, but there was an educator away last week who didn't meet the new child. So she's introducing herself to him. And she puts up her arms, like kind of dancing, but I'm like, oh, are we fighting someone? And she's like, no, I'm just introducing myself. I'm like, oh, we should be fighting someone. Like, is this fight club? She's like, no, and I'm like, darn it. I hate this game. Smashing prices on things I can't afford. Um, compose. Two. Um, yeah. Why not? I'm like, good evening, boss. Because it's quite late. Oh, we're one team short. No, I want that witch hat. I need to remember to end game, like, after this. Exit to the lobby. So I can find that um, witch hat. Because I'm making one. So silent, like I'm not necessarily oh, no. I'm not necessarily concentrating, like I've been talking this whole time.
Oh, this game. Crushed it like a bug. I'm like, are you planning on discussing this at the staff meeting next week? And I'm not entirely sure if it's next week. Because it's on the second. Okay, good. The second is next week. I don't care what your TikTok is. Alright, time to find the person with the witch's hat. Oh, you got it from Amiibo. What? I want an Amiibo. I'm not sour you are. I'm still trying to send this email before I forget, but I'll hop back into the lobby. So I can email lobby load. Lolly Unicorn would say, play, like, go to sleep. But the mastermind behind the persona of Lolly Unicorn says, to play, just play more games, man. Like, I say mastermind, but I, I act the same from when I'm on stream and when I'm not.
like the beat. If I don't get the dub, I'm going to be very annoyed. I can't find my finger in this gloves and I can't remember where I put my handcuff thingy. Baby King, what you could do is go to sleep so you have enough energy to play Ghost Watchers. Or watch Ghost Watchers. I don't know, I haven't heard of it. So you can thoroughly enjoy Ghost Watchers in whatever medium it's in. So it's a game. Mate, I've never played Phasmophobia. I've never watched it. I heard it's bloody terrifying. And after living through a zombie apocalypse, I'm good. I mean, it was like a VR zombie apocalypse. But still, I lived through a zombie apocalypse. I'm good. Oh, my hand still hurts. Mila. It's not fair. 
That really annoys me. Especially when I'm sick and can't move. Because all my hobbies are fine motor skill based. And it also, most of the time, it involves my elbows being like this. And why I hate that all my hobbies are like fine motor skill based is because when I am sick and I cannot move because of the pain, I can't do anything. And I get so bored that I end up increasing my pain because I'm just so bored. So I push through the pain, but then I try and go to sleep and I can't because it everything just hurts. That was like when I had the flu recently, and then the cold, and when I had COVID a while ago. Oh, that's not fair. Yeah, no, like in here, it just hurts. And it's not okay. This one person that I did it that I don't want to slap. Um, I sometimes want to slap her. Like today, she just slapped a baby out in the sun with no sun protection on. Like, um, hello. And she was sitting down. She takes the baby off, of, um, like from his mother at drop off. And he's facing the sun. I was like, dude, he's going to get sunburned and since he's a baby, it's going to be really bad for him. <laughs> that that weapon that the person had is like the base weapon everyone gets when they first start off um, on my multiplier. It's called the ends up. I, I know there's no battery. And that's what there was a, a like a gun control thing for the NES. I can't remember if it was called the ends up or not. But it was something. Oh, I hate this game. Mm. Oh, there's two of them. Nope, only because I'm changing controllers. controller but what I'm going to do is take the afro off so I can charge this controller I've got a charging stand for my pro controller and, and two joy cons and it uses this connector piece to charge and so I call it an afro because it looks like an afro Right, that's on charge. Let's turn on the LEDs. Ooh, I should change the LED colors to the Splatoon 3 colors. Feels so weird not using cooking ones. Like not using cookie controller. Mainly, like, I usually change between the two when playing games. 
let's I'll go like a day between not using the controllers, but you going from clicky to not clicky and mushy is really weird. Oh jeez. What? Oh, that is rude. That is rude. <laughs> Same person twice. Nice. That's terrifying. No! I didn't realize that there was someone else shooting at me. They've been uploaded to what? Or change to what? So it's kind of like a bluey purple and a greeny yellow. The new joy, like the new color scheme for Splatoon 3. Splatoon 2 was pink and green. But I can't exactly remember. What? Come on, guys. Come and join the party. There we go. See? I knew what they wanted. I've already put the controller together. I want to know how to change the colors.
I'm like looking down at the video and watching in hopes that it'll tell us or tell me how to change the LED. Oh my gosh, I hate when people do that. Okay, it's list it, it's up to the video, or up to the part of the video where they're actually going through the instructions. It is great, so I paused it and I will watch it. This is TikToker slash YouTuber, I think. Um, Freckled Zelda. She presents herself as a fairy, which is fine. That's awesome. And she sings. She can play the ocarina. I am um, really cool. And she was on America's Got Talent. I don't know if you guys watched it. I don't. But I saw on like TikTok and stuff, and she posted about it. Um. And she's telling them that she's a fairy, she's from the Fairfield Forest, and she comes out in like her fairy gear. I say fairy gear, but it was like her dress and like hair was all done up, her ears were like elf ears were on. And I'm like, dude, inspiration going on like in like national TV, but essentially international TV. And just being like, yep, I'm a fairy. I'm from the Freckled Forest. You can't touch me. All right. I'm watching the tutorial on how to change LEDs. Turn my switch off for a second so I can customize the LEDs. I'm hoping it'll let me turn it off. Oh no, stop it, stop it, stop it. Uh, let's go to this scene for a second. Alright, let's turn you on. Let's pause you for a second. Um, yep, I chose the color. Excuse me. Oh, shoot. Red, yellow, green, blue. Purple. Apparently there's this gradient option. I'm not seeing it. <gasps> That's it. 
Never mind, I'm going gradient. Oh, this is going to look so cool, you guys. Heck yeah, guys. Oh, so excited. I missed it. Dang it. Purple, 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 blue, 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 deep turquoise, 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 pink. Purple, bluish, green. Yes, that's it. Pink, purple, blue. I forgot how to stop editing mode. Look at it! Wait a second. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I didn't realize they could do that. Guys, I need FNAF on the Switch so I can just play like this with my controller and then like my LED strip and my LED headphone. And don't want to do that again, though. Yeah, I said that now. I'm not gonna be saying that if I ever play it. Although I really want the LED kit for the toy cons, but now I need a toilet. Power out. It's so pretty. I'm like, where is everyone? But now they're all here. All right, I'm gonna go to the toilet. Actually, I'll go to the loading scene screen so you guys have music. I need headphones like that.
Or you can connect to the internet. Well, I'm gonna go to the toilet. BRB. I think I know where the thing is. Not my thing on this gloves, but my other thing. I had to take it off on the Saturday because it was aggravating my, my finger. Ha ha ha. But I still don't know where my fingerless gloves are and it's driving me insane. I didn't have a button. I had a button in my pocket.
I'm missing a lot of my socks and they're in a laundry bag from a while ago. Like a lot of my socks. Like all of my socks. No, I'm kidding, not all of my socks. Of a king of clubs. never made sense when Braun Sherman used to do get these pants. It's like, what are you doing? What are you doing, Mike? Hmm. I get a hot. Only because I'm like running around. I just stinking head was sticking. I can't concentrate and stop trying to go to The well, news of a terrifying mid-air situation that proves delays at airports across the country are putting passengers at risk. 
Pilots on the Brisbane to Perth flight forced to declare a mayday while waiting to land the plane. Here's how it all unfolded. Qantas flight 933 arrived in Perth airspace with an extra that 20 happened. minutes worth of fuel when the pilots were told of a 16 to minute delay to landing. They were told to declare a mayday to get priority to land before four other planes circling Perth. The Boeing 737-838 aircraft eventually landed with a fuel mayday on descent. This type of call is extremely rare. The Australian Transport Safety Bureau is now investigating. Vaping, puff or pass? Get the truth, pick the banner. Big businesses across the nation are scrambling to bring back some COVID safety measures as the Omicron wave worsens. Gabriel Boyle is at Parramatta in Sydney's West. Gabby, good morning. Two of the nation's biggest companies are advising staff to work from home. Well, I'll play one more round. All of this, just as we were starting to get back and, into the and studio, then I end. putting up with peak hour traffic, because having our lunches again, wearing our I uniforms. Can. Now, two of Australia's biggest companies, Westpac and Telstra, are telling their employees and I think I that where possible, they really should be working when from falling. home again. For Westpac, this affects about 40,000 workers, and for Telstra, 27,000 mm. workers. It's also worth noting, Alex, that it's going to affect a lot of knock-on businesses. For example, if you've got a cafe that's located under a Westpac building, you're going to see a downturn in customers turning up. So there's going to be lots of people in the hospitality and retail sectors. And most of my really gloves are like in another bag. ...of this decision over the next few weeks. Alex, it's worth noting that the COVID numbers aren't looking good right around Australia. Sadly, yesterday we recorded 90 COVID-related deaths. How long has this been going on for? Thank you. Biosecurity. <laughs> Righty, oh, then. Oh, it's oily. I don't know what that means, Mila. I like this one though. This is my favorite one. Moray Towers. Well, one of my favorites. I think there's a few. But I can't remember the names until I play it, and I'm like, yes, this one's my favorite. No. Just no. This definitely has to be the last game because my thumb is like my thumb and hand game right now. Which is devastating because then it's going to be hard to catch up. And I'm trying to make a wish. I think I put my chair.
Oh, what? I know, it's just, it's just a bit loose and on the beat. But it's still, it's still fully functioning. Oh my, far out. That wasn't fair. I don't want to look. I do, but I don't want to look. What a way to end the stream. Nope, I'm gonna end stream. Cause I've got better things to do. Like heal this hand. No, I can and I will. I don't know. Ow. Um. <laughs> Got him. Um, feels bad. Yes. Clueless. Sorry. Well, I do keep them up as VODs, and I do have a VOD channel. Um, I'm mainly stopping Neela from hugging me. <laughs> Eva's, Evie's on my head. Wait, wait, wait. Evie's like the angel on my shoulder. <gasps> huh. I want to like... Pin you. You ready? <laughs> um, anyway. Yeah, no, my, I was like crocheting earlier. And I hurt like here. No, you're not. And now this, like down here hurts, down in here hurts. Um, I'm gonna stream again on Saturday. I know that's a long time in between streams, but I am currently working on my certificate three in early childcare, which is taking crap ton of my time. And see you guys then. Hope you guys had as much fun watching as I did playing. And have a good night, noon, evening, afternoon, morning, whatever. See you guys next time. Bye.